Jason and I were having a bet, and I told him that I could read minds, and he won't believe me. So this is why we're shooting this video. I'm going to give you three reasons why you won't start your dream restaurant business today. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Today I'm going to be telling you the three reasons why I know you would not want to start a restaurant in today's world. Number one is not knowing how. This is something that I hear all the time. People not knowing how to start their restaurant, that's why they're not. They're still stuck in their position a year from today and not really taking the action in their own hands. And I totally understand because I've been there and I've done that and I just recently was there. If you don't believe me, check out this video where I share with you that I'm actually scared on launching a new series called The Secret Sauce. And for me, I'm scared. I'm scared because I invested tens of thousands of dollars into this series called Secret Sauce. I don't know if people are gonna watch it. I don't know if people will show up. I don't know what the feedback is. I'm also scared. I'm scared of judgment from my friends, my family, saying that this is no good. And same for you. I know you're scared. You're scared that you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars building a restaurant in today's world in the uncertainties. And not only that, you're scared of really not knowing the steps to get there. It's okay, I've been there, I understand. However, this should not and will not be a reason of why I don't take action. I understand that I've been in the game long enough to know that being scared is actually the greatest thing that can happen to you. And the reason why is because being scared is you coming out of the comfort zone, seeing something new, being exposed to something new. It is because you haven't been exposed to it, therefore you're scared. You're scared of the unknown uncertainties. And usually comfort is what shelters you in that hole. And that's the reason why if you are gonna experience anything outside of your circumstances right now, if you want that dream of running a restaurant, being proud of it, running a restaurant, being able to take care of your fa family financially and having the time to spend with your loved ones, then yes, you need to take that step out of your comfort zone and to start your restaurant and to start that dream of yours. The second reason why I know you won't start your dream restaurant today is because it's a lot of money. And I get it, it is a lot of money. And it's a, a lot of money if you don't spend to learn from people. And why I say that is because when I first started my ice cream shop, I started with $100,000. And my friend, I still remember very vividly, recommended me that, hey, you know what? Consult with this ice cream expert because they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. And for me, I wanted to save that few hundred bucks, few thousand dollars, and I didn't consult with them. Three months later, we came into a huge issue because our ice cream machine didn't produce enough ice cream for our demand. And guess what? We need to switch out that machine. And how much did it take to switch out that machine? All in all, more than $30,000. $30,000 mistake that I could have avoided just by spending a thousand, two thousand dollars. That's why it's so counterintuitive is because you need to spend a little bit up front in order for you to save a lot more down the road. And a lot of people cannot come to terms with that because they just feel like that. Hey, why am I paying a few hundred bucks here, a few hundred bucks there? Consultants, um, lessons, courses, this and that. It is because you get to learn from other people's mistakes and oftentimes their mistakes are a lot more costlier than what they're charging. And that's why today I spend every single year, even today, I'm spending tens of thousands of dollars of masterminds on courses, on mentorship, consultants. That's what I invest in. So then that way I can cut my time to success. And on top of that, I can cut all the mistakes that these people have made in order for me to save more money. And that's the reason why you're here, to learn from me so then that way it cuts your time to achieve your success. It cuts down the mistakes that you will be making. So I know some of you get it here. Ultimately, if we think about the long term and if we put this whole thing in perspective, 
what is a hundred dollars? What is a few hundred dollars? What is a few thousand dollars if you're making a restaurant that is pulling in half a million dollars? It is nothing, guys. We oftentimes think it's a lot of investment because we're so focused on the short-sighted money value right now. And we lose track of perspective of what we're trying to achieve. We should actually be switching this around. What would it cost me by not investing that few hundred bucks, that few thousand dollars? It would cost me tens of thousand dollars, tens of years of mistakes. And that's why investing will always make back your money. The third reason that I hear the most is that you just don't have enough time. And it is so crazy because it doesn't matter where you are in the world, everyone is given the equal opportunity of 24 hours a day. So when you tell me you don't have enough time, it's something that it just makes me go crazy. Yet on the other hand, I can totally relate to that because that's what I tell my girlfriend, my, actually my wife now, that's what I tell my parents. That's what I tell sometimes Jason. It's just, oh man, I just don't have enough time. And yet I myself is guilty of it because I just don't focus on the things that truly matter. I have a to-do list of roughly 40 items per day. And I don't prioritize them because I only do things that would make myself feel comfortable. There's that one or two or three tasks that always, always are hanging on there for weeks and in time. And not until I'm completely empty, my plate is completely empty, that I would go and tackle those three items. And yet those are the items that truly would move my business. Isn't it really ironic? It's like I get to choose when I get to do something, but I always come back down to the default saying that I just don't have enough time. That's the reason why you won't start your dream restaurant because it is confusing, it is scary, it is something that you just don't want to do because you don't see the clear path to doing so. And that's why you come up with not having time as an excuse. I totally understand because I'm a father, I'm a husband, I run three different businesses and I also play soccer competitively every single week. So I understand the value of time when it comes to it. That's the reason why I want to share with you the secret of having more time. It is to be able to direct the focus on what truly within your business. Being able to focus on the things that move the needle and understanding what are those items. Having people that you trust to delegate your task to. And on top of that, most importantly, is to have systems in place to ensure that you adhere to these rules, to set yourself up for success. So if you truly want to be able to build that dream restaurant of yours, you can do it. You have the time to do so. It doesn't matter if you have a nine to five or not, because once you have the systems to do so, then it's just following step by step by step and you get one step closer to attaining that dream of yours. So there you go, guys. The three reasons why I know you won't start your dream restaurant. I know it's scary. I know you don't have time. I know you don't have enough money. I know all these things. Yet these are all just excuses of you not pursuing your dreams. And I really don't want to see that for you because I understand how scary it is. I understand how comfortable it is to be in this comfort zone of yours, but I also understand how beautiful it is when you can come out of the comfort zone. I've been there and I've also been here. And that's why I want to extend this invitation to you to join our masterclass, completely free, an hour long of masterclass to show you the principles, the foundations, the processes and systems in order for you to build your dream restaurant. We're going to validate your idea. We're going to talk about the perfect location and we're going to talk about the marketing that goes into building a successful restaurant. Go into the link below, sign up right now because we're only doing this in November. And after that, I don't know when I'm going to do it again. It's a live masterclass completely free that I promised you a few months ago. I really hope you're going to be there. If you're thinking about building a restaurant, this is something that you should attend and you have to attend. 
Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Smash the like button and subscribe along the journey. I'll see you guys in the live masterclass.